Good morning, children. Welcome to the class. Now we are doing chapter one. In my last class, I have done advantages of a computer, and today we'll do disadvantages of a computer. If you have book, please open page number nine. Now, in advantages of a computer, I told you that how useful computer is for us for today's world. We cannot imagine a life without a computer right now, isn't it? Even our schooling is going uh, through because of this computer, isn't it? So it is very essential and very important uh, machine for today's life. Now, uh, uh, with the advantages, we have some disadvantages also for a computer. Let's check out what it is. So I'm going to read it. Although computer is a useful machine. It also has many disadvantages. Some of them are as follows. Some disadvantages of computers. Let's let's check out. Number one is no intelligence. A computer cannot think or take decisions on its own. If you give an incorrect input, it will give you an incorrect output rather than correcting it. Now the most disadvantages of a computer is. It don't have any brain. Okay, that means if you give input means any wrong command. If you give a wrong command to a computer, you will get the wrong output. Means wrong answer. So the main thing while using computer, you have to be very um, conscious or you have to be very particular giving the correct command. Right command to the right order to the computer if you give wrong order to the computer you will get wrong answer from the computer health trouble working on computers for long hours can damage our eyes sitting in a wrong posture while working on a computer causes back pain neck pain and so on make sure you take small breaks and sit in a correct posture now while sitting we as a human being we make a very wrong positions while sitting yes or no we do like this we do like this we sleep that are all wrong postures while sitting near the computer we have to be very straight our shoulders should be back very smartly very strictly we have to sit like this straight okay if we use the wrong posture what happens our neck started paining our eyes get uh, tired yes so it also troubles our health hands pain okay so many uh, things happens when we uh, continuously use computer so we should take a short break while using a computer like after half an hour or one hour five or ten minutes break we should take you should not use computer continuously sitting in front of computer is also harmful for sometimes cyber crimes lawbreakers use computers to steal personal and important in information such as names contact numbers bank details passwords and so on these details can be used to commit com crimes the crimes committed using computers are known as cyber crimes crimes like we do all the bad things are called crimes or naughty things that are done stealing chornu okay stealing and snatchings all things are called crime cyber crime means the crime that bad things that can be done using a computer okay like there are some people who are called law breaker law means uh, like um, all uh, those who do all unfair things which are not good okay they are called law breaker what they do they steal your names your passwords and they take away your money from the bank your parents must know about it all they share your information with other people your secret your privacies are all uh, shared by shared these things 
okay so these kind of things are called cyber crime this can happen because of the computer as today's world people all depend on computer we do all electricity bill payment bank payments everything is done by using computer so sometimes it is very dangerous also people can steal your money from bank by using your passwords your informations your details so you have to be very careful while using all these things in a computer virus prone computers are connected to the internet are prone to virus attack such attack disturbs the functioning of a computer it may also lead uh, to loss of data stored in the computer now viruses now as you are very familiar with the corona virus right now these are the viruses these are the disease that human being can have same ways which makes us sick yes or no virus means it's kind like in a simple language we can say it's a kind of an insect yes when it gets into our body we fall sick and sometimes we people might die same type viruses can damage your computer system okay now how this virus comes inside the computer it comes with the um, by using a internet by using internet okay when we use internet we uh, we search many uh, things games we download games we download songs movies sometimes this movies and uh, movies and games are virus okay and when it enters in the computer what does it do it damages the system of computer fall sick cannot do work okay it get hanged on and people can we cannot take advantages of it and some stored data the programs that we have stored will all, um, that all get deleted from the computer so it we have to be very careful while downloading games movies okay or songs in the uh, computer you have to be very very careful all right expensive a computer is an expensive machine therefore it cannot be afforded by everyone expensive means very costly mongo in nepali we can say it is very expensive very mongo okay so everyone cannot buy it's not a very cheap machine cheap means sasto whereas expensive means very we have to pay lots of money to buy computer system so it is not affordable by everyone to buy environmental pollution the old and waste parts of computers come in the category of e waste if these discarded objects are not disposed of carefully they may pollute the environment children as you all know that computer is made up of machines all the parts are machines and computer itself is a uh, tin box it is made of a tin which cannot be burned cannot be disposed yes or no so it is very difficult to dispose this kind of things so this, that's why it is called e waste electronic waste e means electronic waste it cannot be disposed so we have to be very careful before throwing the parts of the computer here and there it might it may pollute the environment okay this uh, it uh, like it's not like uh, plants which is very helpful for the environment it's all the dust it creates dust waste in the Uh, environment okay so these are the disadvantages of the computer so we have come to the end of this chapter in this chapter we have done how a computer works and uh, computer versus human being the working of a computer how does it works it works with three steps input processing and output you give command to the computer the cpu does the processing the work happens inside the cpu and you get the output on the monitor these are the three steps how computer works and we have also done advantages and disadvantages of the computer in my next class we'll do the exercises till then if you have book please read the book and if you have any problem if anything you don't understand please whatsapp me in my personal number till then thank you